What do you see as being the most important need for the city of Durham? I believe one of the things that is most important is that there be a reestablishment of trust with the community and a sense of accountability. There's a lot of things that are going on in city government that has allowed the citizens to question the capacity of our city government and the officials. We have to really regain that trust by being more responsible and react more quickly to issues and then start planning so that we don't have to deal with issues in, in a reactive mode, to be more proactive about issues that are going on. I can name probably five scenarios of things that have, has occurred in, in the city government that would, or city administration that will allow everyone to, to chuckle and laugh and figure out why. I think that the citizens feel the same way. We have to reestablish trust so that the people who are serving on council can act responsibly. That's a good question. I would suggest that you cannot be a great city unless you are a safe city. So crime would be my first priority. Uh, we now, as you know, have a new chief, uh, police chief, uh, Chief Lopez, who is coming here uh, from Hartford, Connecticut. I look forward to the positive changes uh, he is going to make as he builds upon uh, Steve Chalmers' uh, very fine record here in Durham. I'm also pleased that we added, as I mentioned earlier, the 30 new police officers and increased their salaries so that we're now a little better able to retain them to work here in Durham. It, it's time. Crime is the, the noose around Durham's neck that still continues to haunt us. Ms. Harris. Uh, again, communication. Be honest with the citizens, be open with the citizens, and uh, I think the improvement of communications can build some of the trust. I'm, I agree with Ali. Uh, there seems to be some degree of mistrust or the element of mistrust, but I believe open communications can uh, can mend some of those those bridges. And also with the open communication and education, we can uh, address the the other issues that, that I have with the, our administration. Ms. Parrish? I think we, uh, the government needs to begin to really serve the people. I think there's been an attitude that the citizens serve the government. And I think we need to reverse that and show our citizens that um, our government is responsive to them with their needs, whether it be crime, whether it be jobs, uh, environment, what have you. There just needs to be an attitude change for that we serve the people, our citizens. Can you repeat the question, please? Yes. <clears throat> well, I can't find it right now, but I believe the question was, uh, what do you believe, what in your opinion uh, is the most critical, most important, most important issue uh, in Durham. How, how do we empower our young African American men in this community? How do we empower them? How do we help them to get to the next level? When you look at the black community in the inner city, you see a run-down community in the African-American community. When I go into other communities in Durham, I don't see boarded up houses. I don't see gravel streets. I see lights. I was out in the area. How do we get this community to see that when we run downtown and ask for another theater, how can we get people to also say, we need another training center for our young people? If we can get the African American men trained and employed, they can come back to our community and fix up these houses and take care of their women. 
we wouldn't have to have young women walking the streets, black or white. Durham is in a crisis. Sorry. Mr. Williams. <clears throat> I like to say that the main interest that I see that the city need is that uh, we need to stop going out of our city and finding someone else to run our city. That's a big problem. I have a problem with that. It tells me that we have no one in this city educated enough, capable enough to run this city. That's bad. Second thing that I have that we should need is reliable accountability city council. That's what we need. We'll go out and be among the citizens and give time to the voters here in this city. We say one thing and get elected, then we get elected, we relax on the job. Well, I got it made now, so we don't go out. 